Hola Pisces, Sun, Sagittarius, Moons, welcome to your 2023 Sun Moon reading. If it resonates, consider a personal pre recorded or live reading. Email, DM me, or text me at 646 902 5715. When you view this, is when you're meant to see it. It doesn't matter the time of year. And keeping that in mind, your 2022's two Sun Moon readings are still in my playlist. See if they rang true for you. The first portion of this reading will go over the traits of your Sun Moon combination. I'll lay out the main cards. We'll take a quick look at your 2023. The second portion will be the Vimeo link below where you there will be a deeper interpretation of those cards in addition to a card of advice for 2023. So Pisces, Sun, Sagittarius, Moons, you're very comfortable in your own skin, which allows others to be comfortable in your presence. There will be times, however, when your forthright opinions with no filter will take people aback. At times, your honesty can be brutal, but at least it's truthful. Besides, you make up for all that with your generosity and kindness. This combination creates a mystical scholar and philosopher who has deep spiritual understanding. You dive into finding out the truth through travel and exploration. You're not one to just sit still and your independent nature doesn't keep you tied to one, one place for very long. A creative soul, you have a penchant for poetry and the arts. It's a great means for you to escape the harsh realities of the world and relieve stress. Many of these stressors are caused by your inability to tell people no, so you tend to overburden yourself in helping others. This always ensures you a circle of friends, so it's not the worst problem to have. So Holy Spirit, Angels, Divine Guys of the Universe, can you please write your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight for Pisces, Sun, Sagittarius, Moons for the year 2023? What do you see? What do they need to know to reach your higher ground and come closer to divine closer to the universe thank you for providing a card for it january february march can i please have three additional cards for the rest of the year and what do you see for april may june for pisces sun sagittarius moons the strength card in the reversed what do you see for july august september for pisces sun sagittarius moons we have the three of cups in the upright look me up on facebook instagram like, share, subscribe, or donate in any of the links below in support of my efforts. That is always super duper appreciated. Judgment card in the upright as you move forward. So, Pisces, it looks that it looks as though in January, February, March, you have a fantastic thing going on. You have this huge vision that you want to turn into something. Okay, you guys are incredible dreamers. You're, you're, you know, the the things that you envision can be incredibly creative. Sometimes, you know, way over the top. You know, in that regard. So. I feel during this time you have the idea and you're also trying to figure out how you're going to go about executing it. So you're kind of drawing on all your school, your skills, your talents, any resources available to you, anything of that sort um, to kind of make this happen. It seems like you want to create, manifest a new cycle and this it's super important to you, okay, um, that this kind of happens. Um, and it's something that's going that you feel is greatly going to improve your situation or your life or your relationship or a personal connection with someone, you know, what have you. So you're really kind of invested in this in January, February, March. The problem is in April, May, June, I feel as though you're doubting yourself. So even even though you have this larger than life thing that you want to do, you're starting to ask yourself, am I going to be able to do this? Um, is it going to work out? Um, you're starting to question yourself, doubt yourself, not have the confidence to kind of push through with it. You may have had somebody come along and say, oh, that's not going to work. And you really took it to heart and listened to them. So I feel as though, you know, something or somebody chipped away your confidence and you're not really sure that you're going to be able to make this happen from a practical standpoint or actually executed and the strength card is the card of leo if i didn't say that before i'm saying it now but the good part is in july august and september here comes your tribe we have the three of cups in the upright so your friends are going to surround you they're going to support you they're going to lift you up they're going to take you out for a good time and be like yes go ahead and do this we know you can do this we have all the confidence in you doing this we have your back so i really feel like you have a wonderful group of people behind you that are they're that helping helping you to injecting confidence in you self-assurance in you um you know making sure to keep your spirits up making sure to you know make sure that you you have the enthusiasm and the energy to go ahead and move forward with this so it looks like you have either a great group of friends family um colleagues somebody who is a good support network for you 
And as a result of that, in October, November, December, you're, you have very, very clear judgment, okay? So no longer a problem with confidence, no longer a problem of seeing where this is going and where you want it to go and how to kind of make it happen. I feel as though you're having the objectivity to kind of look at everything and say, okay, how is this gonna work? Um, how is it all gonna go together? I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a confident decision, um, you know, based on this clarity that I have, and then I'm going to choose to move forward and I'm not gonna look back and and look back on me not being confident or what have you. I'm gonna make sure that I move forward um, very assuredly um, towards this thing that I want to do, and I'm doing with total clear judgment. So that looks like it's a very good year for you. Um, if it resonates, consider a personal pre-recorded or live reading. Just send me an email, DM, or text me at 646-902-5715. Otherwise, make sure you click on the Vimeo link below where I'll be clarifying these cards with these cards in addition to a card of advice for 2023 uh your 2022 sun moon predictions are still in my playlist see if they rang true for you and then finally look me up on facebook instagram like share subscribe or donate in any of the links below in support of my efforts otherwise pisces sun sagittarius moons i will see you in the vimeo adios from veronica garnett bye